And greetings everyone, Evil Tomato here, and today we are going to play some Magic the Gathering Arena Historic Brawl. I have a new deck for y'all. We are running Atraxa, in fact. It is a very fun little deck, and if you guys want me to, I will put the deck list in the, um, in the description of the video and we're running a bit of a little bit of mana wrap but mostly removal and good old we are going to abuse the good old the good old proliferate mechanic and how we're going to abuse that is low cost creatures and spells and one enchantment a noxious tide. Whenever you cast a spell, proliferate, and this works so good because we have some um, we have some synergies that go and give plus one plus one counters to everything, and then every every time oh I play a small creature, everything gets a counter. You your opponent takes a poison counter, and then you swing and you make people really salty. I will say this deck does have some weaknesses going uh decks that shut off counters can hurt you decks that shut off um triggered abilities can be a problem and your biggest fear is going to be monocolor decks but as always on here we're going to hop in some games and have a little discussion about this beautiful beautifulness that is atraxa so let's get it in Okay, game one, and we have Moldratha as our opponent. Our starting hand is, it's meh. I've seen better, but I'll rock it just because it's decent. We got some good things, like this enchantment right here, along with all the good old all the other synergies in this deck like good old good old pro, pro proliferate sorry i can't speak today everybody does so much work because you're giving counters to everything this card also does great in uh walkers and friends so keep that in mind if you are looking into that type of deck I don't know what everyone's playing anymore because, yeah, I've been away from the magic sphere for a minute. I'm hopping back in. I've been doing some other content, which I will still continue to do that content because it means a lot to me because who I am. But sometimes it's good just to sit back and play some cards and make people salty. Oh, come on, my dude. You're going to quit on me, aren't you? Well, we're going to scratch this game probably. Ooh, what do we... We get a decent one drop. And you can... It, uh, it's ability. The Deflector Mite has this nice little ability where you can pay one one freaking Phyrexian white mana and give a creature hexproof from a color which is so great especially in decks that are heavily removal based like your um like your red blue storm decks it does a lot of work and we have all four of our colors. It's not great, but this person's still ramping out. Yep, we have all four. And we're just gonna drop this so we can start pumping out counters. That would be pointless to play yet. So we're just gonna smack them in the face, get a poison counter, that triggers, and now we have a 2-2. Two -two. They're slowly catching up mana-wise, and, ooh, 
I'm kind of curious to see what type of deck this person is player is playing. Action comes back to me and proliferate. Boom. We're not going to swing because you could block and kill it. We're just going to hold up for this turn. Next turn, we'll swing. We'll swing at their face. And I'm not sure which platform I'm going to be doing it on, either Twitch or YouTube, but on Valentine's Day, I got nothing going on. So, I figured we could do a little live stream. Uh, if you guys want to, down in the comments, let me know what, um, what game you'd want me to play, either Magic the Gathering or Diablo 3, because those are my two main games I play on here. And yeah, just let me know so we can have some fun, hang out, and have an awesome Valentine's Day. Oh, You're gonna lock down my thing. That's just mean, dude. I'll, I can't block anyway, so I will take the four to my face. I will say this deck really doesn't get popping off until you get Atraxa into play, but once we get her in, it is so beautiful. And, yeah, we're just going to give that a minus counter, proliferate, and then drop that into play. And, yeah, I don't want you to have that ring. Because anyone who's played Historic Brawl for any amount of time, you know that that ring gives you so much mana. Especially in this deck. Like, oh my god, if you get that ring going in this deck, you have mana for days. Like, some of the best mana ramp ever. And let's see, what did you play? Looks like you're going for like a... Huh. I haven't seen that before. A snow-based creature, a, a snow-based Moldrotha deck. But it's all good. We're, we're going to drop this Growing Rights, aka the poor man's Gaia's Cradle. It takes a couple more steps to get going, but in Arena we don't have a Gaia's Cradle. So, and ooh. We'll take a Death Toucher, please. And then, yeah. I don't want you to have one blockable, buddy. And then we proliferate, and ba boom. Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. You just chose, you got, you got seated with the wrong game, and oh my god, that was so beautiful. So, after game one, not too bad. Like, I wish I could find ways to speed this um, deck up a bit, but, you know, wizards, give us Mana Crypt and Soul Ring in Historic Brawl. Please, I would be forever thankful, but that's not going to happen. Okay, let's move on in to game two. And here we are, game two, we are playing Mono Green. And we're going to mulligan this hand because it is some hot garbage. That's doable. That is very doable. We have a one drop. See, the key to running any deck above three or more colors is in the early game, you either want to ramp out or you want to have 
build up a steady defense of one drop. And we're going to equip that to him. Now it has a toxin of two. And take that lovely poison and get wrecked. They are mono green, so we are going to try to speed this game along. Anytime you're playing a mono green deck, you want to remember, kill them quick. And with, with any magic game whatsoever, remember, don't ever play with your food. Because when you play with your food, it gives your opponent the chance to come back. I've, I've had people that have had me in games, and they played with their food. And when they do that, I end up getting pulling some shenanigans out my butt, and yeah, they lose. Oh, you're rocking those sleeves. Cool. Yeah, they are trying hardcore to ramp, which that scares me because anyone who's played a lot of... Oh, they... Like, I don't even know. Am I even going to count? We'll... We'll... We'll keep it. We'll, we'll, we'll keep this game in the video. But we're going to probably add another game on just because um that is that was kind of weak so moving on to game okay i'm not gonna lie we're probably gonna lose this one we are playing uh red green gobs but we got some good removal uh uh I, i'm gonna mulligan just my luck. I would mulligan into a worse hand. And kitty cat, stop it. I'm sorry about that, everyone. Okay, we can keep that. We're going to pop that on the bottom. And hopefully our luck is, hopefully our draws are with us. We get that, which is a good two dropper. We got some mana ramp and removal. So go ahead and drop that, drop that, and pass. And turn comes back to us. Um, we're still missing one color, and you dropped your commander. You know what I think of that commander drop? Nah. Get that out of here. And the main reason I like to always, whenever I can, pop off a commander is because then they gotta waste their resources on recasting that commander. which gives us a chance to get a little bit ahead. And our choices now in this game are, do we want additional poison counters or do we want to mana ramp? Looking at the battlefield, I think I'm gonna take mana ramp, which will lead into us being able to drop the century down. And then we can exile the talisman. Unless this guy scoops on us. Oh, he's starting to rope. Okay, he he's not gonna quit on us, hopefully. Then we take his mana ramp away. Because it's always good to get you mana ramp and then remove your opponent's ramp so that way they have less resources to use against you. And you redrop your commander. And yeah, we're just going to drop that. You don't have flying, so you're going to take two poison counters. I will say this guy is a part of your core combo. You want to get out as quick as possible. 
as long as there isn't fear of it being uh, removed. And more goblin shenanigans. You still don't have reach or flying. So I don't think we need to worry quite yet. I will say this deck could use a little bit of board wipe. Like maybe a uh, Masker Worm or Masker Girl would be great. I just don't know what I would take out for that. And what did you do? Oh, you're copying spells. Uh-oh. We could be in trouble, everybody. We could be in some serious trouble with that. Oof. Ow. Um, I, I don't want to lose stuff, so I'm just going to take five to the face, because we're almost halfway to where we need to be to kill this guy. I think we're just going to get the mana ramp out. And, yeah. Give you some more poison. Feel the burn. Feel it good. It burns us, master. It burns us. Plays a mulch. What are you ramping for, my guy? What are you ramping for? This worries me, everybody. This worries me. Oh, You blowing up my things. Why are you blowing up my things? I'm going to take that to the face. But it's all good. It's all freaking good. I can... Uh, yeah, you don't really have the mana for any combat tricks. So I will block that goblin. Take that. We are two swings. Nope. That's game. Because, let me see. We drop you move to combat and then sack that you take that next turn we swing and win the game unless they can uh, remove our whole board state and if they do that, we can always, just keep in mind, Atraxa's mainly in the deck to refill your hand. She is your, oh, I ran out of gas. Let me play this real quick. Oh, hand's refilled. You really don't want to play her when you have a big full hand because then she uh, will make you have to discard unless you have a wreck power out. Just keep that in mind. Oh, okay. So that's 12. Okay, we have to block. We have to block. We'll, oh, nope, nope. We didn't want to do that. We want to let that... Oh, no. Everybody, as predicted, I didn't get it quick enough. Because, yeah, even if I block... That's 11. Yep. That's game. GG. I will take the loss and let you kill me. You got it. Okay, here we are. The final what? Okay, hold up, everybody. I'm just going to keep this hand real quick. And they, they made a new one of him? Oh, my. I need it. I freaking need it. We have a new deck we need to make, everybody. But we're going to start out, drop that swamp, and pass turn. We're going to get this mirror out because he doubles as a mana rock.
they're still kind of man ramping over there so we are good we can play the rat or we can play him I think we'll take him just a bigger body and um, when he dies we get a Phyrexian token uh, we're gonna smack you in the face buddy like I'm kind of scared I don't know what type of shenanigans this guy is gonna ensue Because for those who've played Commander for a long time, you know the old one, he was the like one of the biggest partner uh, draw engines out there. Oh, you're going to return it to my hand. You, you going to give yourself a counter? No, oh, I was hoping, but it's, it's all good. Because... We'll just recast him and drop the rat. And yeah, I'm kind of salty. You sent my things back to my hand and that wasn't very nice. Like, oh my god. But I'm thinking we might have this game just because, yeah, we have the advantage on mana and creatures. So we're just going to remove that. Just because I'm mean and I don't like my opponent to have creatures. And then you're going to take three more poison counters. And oh, it feels so good to have Infect. In arena, what is next? Like, oh my god, keep on giving us evil mechanic. Oh, and they scooped. Okay, okay, we are, we are done with the games. I will say it's a fun deck. Um, if if you're a super acro player, I would not suggest it. But as we always like to end all these videos. We are going to hop over to the store, and we're going to buy some booster packs, and we're going to crack some packs. Uh, let's see, we have... We have enough to get two regular boosters, and we'll also get a golden pack. But bow now. Now we're gonna probably start out with the golden pack. Let's see what do we get. I love cracking. Oh, we got him! Oh my God, we fucking got him! We have another deck to build. Everyone, stay tuned for the next adventures in Historic Brawl. We blue suns. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ooh. That. That is, I like, I, I like, and we get a Phyrexian Vindicator. Ooh, that's going to be rough. Ooh. Pack number two. Ooh, we got us a new commander that creates Phyrexian Goblin Creature Tokens. When, oh my god. Well, that's a thing for a Spell Slinger deck. It is nice. We got a Phyrexian Horror. Uh, mediocre equipment. And not bad that might end up in another deck okay pack number three let's go <laughs> what yep that's going in a traxa everybody um holy crap i'll have to figure out what i'm gonna take out but i like that a man a mana rock that if 
if every time it's tapped, each opponent who has three or more poison counters loses a life. Like, oh my god, that could be stupid, especially with, like, okay, there's this problem in Historic Brawl, where Paradox Engine is unbanned. In all other forms of Commander, and most of the, you know, eternal formats, Paradox Engine is banned because it is so broken and it is in so many turn, uh, turn three, C, um, C, um, C, E, D, H decks and it's so broken. It's up there on the ban list with other evil things like running Edgar Morkoff in, in freaking one-on-one commander. We just had to address that. Oh. Ooh. You might end up in my Aristocrats deck. Okay. Final pack. Let's hope we get some good pulls. We got a crafting card. Um, Drake. And ooh, we got the Red Sun's Twilight. So we're only three away from having the whole set. That is nice, and I, and I hope I hope you all enjoyed watching me play some magic and ramble on like I always do because you know I'm, yeah. So this is what happens when you meet you just ramble. But thank you for stopping by, yeah, and also if you guys enjoyed the content, make sure to drop a like comment uh go down if you haven't already hit go and hit that little red button and and sub to the channel make sure to turn on all all freaking all all freaking all notifications and also you can follow me on twitter same name as on here uh twitch i stream about twice a week on twitch.tv for um, Magic the Gathering, and I and I hope I hope you all have have a great day. Goodbye.